What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what a wireless network engineer is in case this is what you want to do with your career. So let's get into it. All right. So in this video, we're going to talk about all of these objectives on the screen right here so that you can make the best informed decision in the event that you decide you want to become a wireless network engineer. All right, so first let's talk about exactly what is a wireless engineer. So this is a specialized IT professional that is responsible for designing, implementing, managing, and troubleshooting wireless networks. Now, unlike traditional network engineers who may deal with wired connections such as Ethernet, wireless network engineers, they focus exclusively on wireless communication technologies like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular connections, and other radio frequency-based systems. And these engineers, they work to ensure that wireless networks are optimized for performance, reliability, and security. They handle everything from the initial planning and design of wireless networks to configuring and maintaining wireless access points, routers, and other hardware that enables devices to connect wirelessly. All right, so let's talk about exactly how much money a wireless network engineer makes. So the average annual salary for a wireless network engineer in the U.S., this varies across sources. So if you go to talent.com, they report an average salary of approximately $120,000 per year with entry-level positions starting off at $97,000 and experienced professionals earning up to $158,000. Glassdoor, they estimate a total annual pay of $128,000, comprising a base salary of $104,000 and additional compensation such as bonuses or profit sharing indeed lists the average salary of a wireless network engineer at 103,000 based on over 5,000 salary reports now these variations can be attributed to factors such as experience level education certifications and geographic location so for instance in atlanta georgia the average annual pay for a wireless network engineer is reported to be 50 dollars an hour which equates to approximately 105 thousand dollars annually now overall while figures differ amongst different sources, wireless network engineers in the U.S. can expect average annual salaries ranging around from $100,000 to $130,000 per year with potential for higher earnings based on individual qualifications and regional demand. All right, so now let's go over some of the key responsibilities of a wireless network engineer. So the responsibilities of a wireless network engineer, this can be broad and multifaceted, but some of the core duties include the following. So the first is that of network design and planning. So one of the primary responsibilities of a wireless network engineer is to design and plan the layout of wireless networks. This involves understanding the requirements of an organization or location, such as the number of devices that will connect to the network, the size of the area to be covered, and any specific needs for bandwidth or security. They perform site surveys to identify the best locations for access points and determine potential sources of interference like physical obstacles or competing wireless signals. Then there's the installation and configuration. So after designing the network, the engineer is responsible for the installation and configuration of wireless network equipment. And this may include setting up wireless access points, routers, switches, firewalls, and network management software. And they need to configure the hardware to meet the organization's requirements requirements and ensure seamless connectivity across all devices. There's also network monitoring and optimization. So wireless network engineers, they are responsible for monitoring the performance of wireless networks to ensure optimal functionality. And this involves using network monitoring tools to track the health of the network, analyze traffic patterns, and identify any bottlenecks or issues that may be affecting performance. And based on this data, they may make adjustments to improve the efficiency and reliability of the network, such as optimizing signal strength, adjusting channel settings, or upgrading hardware. And then there's trouble shooting and problem solving. So when connectivity issues arise, wireless network engineers, they must diagnose and resolve them promptly. And this can involve addressing interference from other wireless networks, hardware malfunctions, signal dropouts, and software misconfigurations. And quick and effective troubleshooting, this is essential to minimize downtime and maintain a high level of user satisfaction. Next, we have ensuring security. So wireless networks are inherently more vulnerable to security risks than wired networks due to their accessibility through the airwaves. Therefore, wireless network engineers, they must implement robust security protocols such as encryption, firewalls, and secure access controls to protect data transmitted over the network. And they also need to ensure that the network is compliant with relevant security standards and regulations. And then there's network upgrades and expansion. So as technology evolves and the need of 
of an organization changes, wireless network engineers, they may be tasked with upgrading existing networks or expanding coverage. And this could involve adding new access points, increasing bandwidth, migrating to new wireless standards, such as upgrading from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6, or integrating new devices and services into the network. Now let's talk about the skills and qualifications that are required. So a wireless network engineer, they need a combination of technical skills, experience, and soft skills to be successful. So here's a breakdown of the essential skills and qualifications. So first there's technical knowledge of wireless technologies. So a wireless network engineer, they must have a deep understanding of wireless technologies, including the Wi-Fi standards. So you need to have some knowledge of different Wi-Fi standards and how they impact network performance and compatibility. You need to have an understanding of how how radio frequencies work, including concepts like frequency band, signal strength, attenuation, and interference. And you also need to have some familiarity with protocols such as Bluetooth, Zigbee, and cellular networks. Then there's networking fundamentals. So in addition to the wireless specific knowledge, a strong grasp of general networking concepts is essential. And this includes understanding how devices communicate on the network using IP addresses and how networks are segmented, knowledge of how data is transmitted across networks and how switches and routers direct traffic, and understanding security protocols like VPN, WPA2, WPA3, and firewalls to secure wireless communications. You also need some hands-on experience with networking hardware and tools. So wireless network engineers, they need to be familiar with a range of networking hardware and software tools, including experience with setting up and configuring wireless hardware from vendors like Cisco, Aruba, Ubiquiti, or Netgear. You need proficiency with software tools like Wireshark and SolarWinds for network analysis, performance monitoring, and site surveying. And you also need familiarity with network management systems for configuring and managing devices remotely. And then there's problem solving and analytical skills. So troubleshooting and optimizing a wireless network that requires strong problem solving skills and the ability to analyze data effectively. And a wireless network engineer, they must be able to diagnose issues, address potential solutions, and implement fixes quickly and effectively. And then there's certifications. So certifications, they are highly valued in the field of wireless networking, and they can serve as proof of technical expertise. And some of the most recognized certs for wireless network engineers include the following. So you have the CompTIA Network Plus, and this is a foundational networking certification that covers essential networking concepts, including wireless technologies. You got the CCNA that stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate, and this is a highly respected certification that provides a solid understanding of networking, including wireless technologies. You have the CWMP, and that stands for Certified Wireless Network Professional. And this is a vendor neutral certification program with various levels, specifically focused on wireless networking. And then you have the ACMA or the Aruba Certified Mobility Associate. And this is a certification that demonstrates knowledge of Aruba wireless technologies that is often used in enterprise environments. And then that leads us to soft skills. So soft skills are equally important as wireless network engineers often work with cross-functional teams and interact with clients and users and other stakeholders. And essential soft skills include the following. So you need to have the ability to explain technical concepts clearly to non-technical stakeholders. You need to manage network deployments, upgrades, and troubleshooting efforts effectively. And you need to have the ability to learn and adapt to new wireless technologies as they emerge. All right, so let's move on and talk about some challenges that are faced by wireless network engineers. So while the role of a wireless network engineer is crucial, it also comes with unique challenges. And the first is interference and signal obstacles. So wireless networks, they are prone to interference from a variety of sources, such as other Wi-Fi networks, microwave ovens, cordless phones, and physical obstructions like walls and metal objects. Engineers, they must understand how to mitigate these issues by carefully planning access point placement, choosing the right channels and configuring power settings. Then there's security vulnerabilities. So wireless networks, they can be vulnerable to a wide range of security threats, including unauthorized access, eavesdropping, and man-in-the-middle attacks. And wireless network engineers, they must implement strong security measures and stay up to date with the latest security practices to safeguard the network. 
Then there's bandwidth and capacity management. So as more devices connect to a wireless network, bandwidth and capacity becomes major concerns. The engineers, they must balance the network load to ensure that all users experience consistent performance. And this can involve managing quality of service settings, using band steering, or deploying additional access points to improve coverage and capacity. And then there's compatibility issues. So wireless engineers, they often need to ensure that networks are compatible with a wide range of devices, including legacy devices that may only support older wireless standards, and balancing performance and compatibility across various devices, this can be challenging. Now let's talk about the future of wireless networking. So the field of wireless networking is rapidly evolving. The wireless network engineers, they must stay current with emerging technologies and trends. And some key developments shaping the future of wireless networking includes the following. So we have Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7. The next generation of Wi-Fi standards, which is Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7, they bring improvements in speed, capacity, and latency. And wireless network engineers will need to understand these new technologies to optimize networks for increased performance and efficiency. Then we have 5G and beyond. So the rollout of 5G cellular networks, this brings faster data speeds and lower latency to mobile and IoT devices. And wireless network engineers, they may need to work alongside cellular network technologies to support seamless connectivity across a broader range of devices. Then there's IoT and smart devices. So the rise of IoT devices and smart technologies is leading to a massive increase in the number of connected devices. So wireless engineers, they will need to design networks that can support the growing demand for connectivity and data transfer. And then there's wireless security advancements. So with the increasing prevalence of wireless devices, security will continue to be a major focus. And wireless network engineers, they will need to stay informed about the latest encryption standards, security protocols, and best practices to protect networks from evolving threats. All right, so let's talk about the timeline for becoming a wireless network engineer. So becoming a wireless network engineer typically takes two to five years, depending on your starting point and educational path. So here's a quick breakdown. So if you go the education path, you can earn an associate or a bachelor's degree in computer networking, information technology, or some other related field. And that could take about two to four years. You can go get you some certifications. So industry recognized certs like CompTIA Network Plus, CCNA, of the CWMP. All of these can be earned in a few months to a year, and you can often earn them alongside or after formal education. Then there's the experience. So entry-level IT roles like working at the help desk or being a network technician, these can provide hands-on experience necessary to move into a wireless networking role. And this may take you one to three years, depending on the job and opportunities for growth. But overall, with a focused effort through education, certifications, and work experience, it's realistic to become a wireless network engineer in about three to five years. So to wrap all of this up, a wireless network engineer plays a crucial role in the modern connected world by designing, implementing, and managing wireless networks that support the growing demand for mobility and connectivity. These engineers must possess a unique combination of technical knowledge, problem-solving skills, and adaptability to manage the complex and ever-changing landscape of wireless technologies. So whether you're working on corporate enterprise networks, public Wi-Fi hotspots, or smart home setups, wireless network engineers are at the forefront of enabling reliable and secure wireless communication. And with the continued evolution of wireless standards, security protocols, and the rise of IoT, the role of wireless network engineers will only grow in importance in the years to come. So if you're passionate about networking, you enjoy solving complex problems, and you're excited about emerging wireless technologies, a career as a wireless network engineer could be a perfect fit for you.